Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on Do Not Disturb. All right, so let's talk about do not disturbing your phone. And what does that mean? What does it mean? <laughs> well, basically, if you want things to be silent on your phone, you don't want it to ring, you don't want things to come on, lights to come on and such, you're going to want to put your phone into the do not disturb mode. Otherwise, okay. maybe you're taking a nap, maybe you're in a meeting, um, anything like that. Or you just want to be polite, not have everyone listen to your phone noises. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> but you still want to be able to see sure. things come through. So we're going to go into the settings app and we'll talk about all the different features. And we're going to scroll down here. Well, we really don't have to scroll. It's right here. It's called Do Not Disturb. And this would be the same on the iPad. Right. It's the same yep. on the iPad. And just you can also screens. do it on a Macintosh. On your Macintosh computer, it's a little bit different where you yeah. go, but this would be exactly the same as on the iPad. <clears throat> when you come in, um, the first choice that you have is you can turn it on manually or you can schedule it. So um, you can come into manual and you can just say, now it's on. Now you're in Do Not Disturb. And if you notice up here in the, the status moon. area, so there's cute. a little half moon up there. If I turn that off, you'll see it disappear. Okay. So if you ever wonder why you're not getting any calls and things like that and write your sounds are make sure happy. you don't have the moon maybe your D and D is that gone. is a big we hear that quite often like well, I'm not getting any of my calls it's going right yeah, to voicemail yeah. and they're always people keep calling have do not disturb yeah, on exactly so otherwise here we can go to scheduled so you can come in here and you can say well maybe from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. you don't want to be disturbed you don't want to hear your phone calls anymore and things like that right um, I don't typically do it that way I usually do it manual you're not that planned I'm not that planned no. <laughs> No, you can also say, okay, I want to allow calls from <clears throat> certain people. Oh, uh, so, oh, you go so you can in have here, exceptions. You can have exceptions, which is really nice because maybe you're taking a nap or maybe it's at night. You don't want to get calls, but yeah, I want to let my mom call, my daughter call. Does it work for texts and emails too? No, it only works for only phone for calls, calls. Oh, which they really need to update that because at first, you know, I, said, I had to tell my daughter who we always text, I said, if you really need me, okay, yeah, you better call me. She's 21. She doesn't call anyone. Exactly. We don't talk on the phone. <laughs> she texts. We text. So um, we could come in here and you can say, okay, allow calls from everyone. Well, I'm not really sure why you would want to do that. Right, I think that would just be the regular. Um, it, but, but, you could, but it's going to silence all the other <clears> things. <throat> so maybe if you don't want anything to happen except phone calls, you could turn that on. Or you could say, I don't want them from anyone. Or you can pick a group. Now, um, you can say just favorites because mm -hmm. everybody has the favorites feature. But if you've set up groups, you can come down here and you could set up a custom group. Maybe you have one called DND &D mm -hmm. because I don't want all my favorites to be able to get through. I only want yeah. certain people. My mom, my now, daughter. Now, am I on your list? You or are not? on my list. <laughs> okay, good. Yes. So um, you would pick your DND &D group and then that's. And where do you make those groups? You have to make those groups in um, actually on a Mac. Um, because you can't do it within the groups app or you can right. get a third party app um, called, I think right. it's called groups where right. you can create yep. a group in your address book. Hopefully right. soon. So I'll you're hope. going into contacts, into contacts, right. And making <clears throat> a special group. That's where you make the group. And right. right now you can only do that in your computer unless you have another, unless you have a third app. party app. Right. Right. So hopefully we'll be able to do that someday from right from this contacts app. So let's see what else we've got here. Um, so we can allow calls from our special group or no one or everyone. We can also allow repeated calls. So if in, this is enabled, mm -hmm. a second call within the same from the same phone number within three minutes will not be silenced. Oh, okay. Honestly, I don't turn that on very often yeah. because I think you know telemarketers might yeah. try this game, mm -hmm. and you know I I just don't do that. Yeah, so. you might think it'd be someone calling you with an emergency, but right. But pretty, typically, anyone that would be you know, calling with an emergency probably would be on your exception list. Exactly. Yeah. If you really needed to to hear it, right. Now, you can also tell it when to silence, always <clears throat> or only when the iPhone is locked. Mm -hmm. And this is maybe sometimes nice because if you're, maybe when you're working, you don't care. You've got your phone on, so you don't really care if you're getting those things mm -hmm. coming through. Um, but when you turn it off, you don't want that to happen. But I think always is probably yeah. <clears throat> what you would normally want. The thing is, if you do only when the iPhone is locked, here's what happens. You're sitting in a meeting. And you've got it on, so you're not being disturbed, right? But you you see that a text message, you, you want to reply to something or do something really quick. As soon as you swipe your phone on, all those alerts are going to come in oh with, my God. <laughs> with a fury. You're going to hear all the dings and bells, and everything's going to pop up and show you what you oh, missed. Oh, crazy. That would be crazy. So I think always is really the best way yeah. to always do it. So 
That is the Do Not Disturb feature. You can also access this if we go out. <clears throat> you can also access it from the control panel. You can yep. swipe up and you can turn it on Do Not Disturb. Easy. Now remember, white means it's on, right? Yep. So you want to make sure that it is not white. Yep. All right. Now, what does it not silence? Aha. Uh -huh. It does not silence alarms. Oh, those so, alarms are really persistent. They're really persistent. <laughs> That's why I said before, we just did a tech bit on alarms. If you want to check that out, um, they are persistent. And it mm -hmm. is good if you were taking a nap or something, you would want to be woken okay. up by yep. your alarm. So you got to remember that. Um, that would be one thing that it does not do. And what else do we have? But that's something you control. I mean, you set that's your right. alarm. Oh, oh, our timer's done. We're done. <laughs> that's so silly. Note that um, when you have Do Not Disturb on, you will not see calls that come in. You will not see text messages. Your phone will not light up. So it's kind of a nice way to do it. Hmm. I like to turn it on sometimes even when I'm working on my phone because I just don't want to be disturbed by those texts coming in or those phone calls. Hmm. I'm, I'm reading something or I'm doing something, um, research, and I, right. just, I don't want to be bothered by it. But yeah. I need my phone on. Right. So I want to point out something. This was a, a, a happy accident that the timer went off. Yes. Because we are in Do Not Disturb. The timer also comes through. That's right. That's so it's right. alarms and timers. Alarms and timers. Anything to do with that, that clock. The but, clock. But it's a great feature to use for a variety of different reasons. Just another um, layer of um, being able to customize the you sounds on yeah. your iPhone. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.